so you just saw me get up on my attic and get one of my guitars and I had to dig deep for this one because this is my very very first guitar that I ever got it's my birthday today I'm turning 44 thank you thank you thank you very much and I've had this guitar for 30 years so I wanted to make a video about it Let's open it, shall we? I haven't opened this for... Pff, oh man, I don't know. M maybe even a decade, no longer, I think. I remember that when I moved into my house 11 years ago, uh, I took it from the attic of my former house and put it straight into my attic here. Never opened it. Um, you know, normally I'm not the one to, uh, to keep stuff that I'm not using. Uh, but you know this is a special one this 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 has some emotional value let's take a look oh, oh. why do I always make these sounds I don't know so la la my good old cyclone guitar oh man Let, let's make some nice footage about me opening the case and stuff it's more fun So yeah, this is my very first guitar. I started out uh, immediately on, on an electric, on an electric. Um, you know, despite the opinions of some, in, in my opinion, uh, old fashioned people, because I, th you know, I used to teach at this music school for 16 years and some people were uh, having the opinion that you should start out on a classical guitar first which I think is bullshit because, you know, if you know that you want to play Metallica and Black Sabbath and Maiden and, you know, whatever, why start out with playing finger picking classical stuff? You know, playing with a pick is so, so different. I always say that the, that the only thing that a classical guitar and an electric guitar have in common is that they both have six strings. That's it. But that's my hum humble opinion. Oh, yeah, like I said, I haven't opened it in, in more than a decade, maybe even two decades. It's so dusty. Oh, and the strings, I haven't even played it. Wait, this is the first chord that I'm playing on this guitar in, in about 20 years, maybe. Whoa, of course, it's not in tune. I hear that and you hear that as well, I guess, but... This is, this is kind of a proper E chord. Wow, I'm surprised. Yeah, it's out of tune, but I expected something much worse. So I'm thinking of cleaning it and, oh yeah, by the way, this is a funny story. One day my mom was uh, vacuuming my bedroom and she put this guitar, including a stand on my bed which isn't that stable. And of course it got knocked over and it, you know, dropped on the floor and the, the neck cracked, as you can tell here maybe. Um, and my dad being pragmatic as he can be, he thought, ah, I have some white paint. The guitar is white, the paint is white. Hmm, one plus one is two. So <laughs> he painted it and yeah, <laughs> I don't remember what it looked like tw uh, 30 years ago, but mm, now it looks uh, quite different. But ah, his intentions were good. Ons pa, ons en Jozef, de Jos. Yeah, let's clean it. Ow! Polish. By the way, for the people who are wondering why I mispronounce some words occasionally in my videos, especially the country Portugal, I do that on purpose. I'm not an idiot. Wow, that's debatable. Hello? Let's put on some new strings. 
Whoa! So I cleaned it, put some... I cleaned it and I put some uh, new strings on on it. Well, it was a, was a spare set of 09s that I had. Usually I, I use 0.10 uh, strings, so pointless to, uh, to replace them. Anyways, but I've at least I've tuned the guitar. I cleaned it a little bit. I don't know how for up your and let's play one chord amplified. I hooked it up to my XFX. Let's see what it sounds like. Yeah, it could, it could use a proper setup. Let's see if that other pickup works. I, I, I swear, I just tuned it, but it got out of tune immediately. You know, I remember that I was super, super happy when I got this guitar for my 14th birthday. Um, it came with a, with a Tiger amp. I don't have it anymore, obviously, because I wasn't so uh, attached to that amp. It was really a tiny, tiny one, didn't even have distortion. As a matter of fact, I didn't even know how those heavy metal guitar players got their distorted sound. I really had no idea. You know, remember that was pre-internet, so you had to find out everything for yourself or by, you know, people who would tell you. And back then I didn't know anyone who played uh, electric guitar. Yeah, there was one kid in school and I thought that he was really cool because he played guitar. Yep, that's uh, how it worked back then. Yeah, I remember that I was really, really, really happy with this and it. Uh, I had to wait a couple of weeks. Now, as a matter of fact, the deal that I had with my parents, because before I started playing electric guitar, I played the keyboards and I took lessons, but the keyboards, you know, they weren't that cool anymore, especially not after I had seen uh, the Life After Death video by Iron Maiden. That's when I knew, okay, I want to play electric guitar. This is so much cooler. So I quit playing the keyboards. And when I started to ask my parents for, uh, for an electric guitar, they thought, yeah, that will be gathering dust next to your keyboards uh, within, uh, within a month. So they agreed on buying me an electric guitar for my birthday on the one condition and that I would take lessons because, and in that sense, I, I can relate, especially like I said back then, before the internet, um, you can only get this far with noodling and you know, there are some people who, who you know, who taught themselves, but you know, reinventing the wheel by yourself, that to me, I also thought that was pointless. So I, uh, yeah, I happily agreed to take lessons. I had to wait like six weeks before uh, there was an opening. So for six weeks, I just did, uh, did stuff like All that kind of stuff because I didn't know any better. It sounded pretty awesome, by the way. I should record it. Haha, <laughs> Neo. And of course, I did my first gigs on this guitar. Um, I was playing in this, yeah, this this music music school band thing with some kids of my age. And I remember that the very very first song that I learned to play in the band was uh, "You Really Got Me" by the Kinks. And of course. Van Halen has, has covered that song as well. And uh, things like uh, Born to be Wild by Steppenwolf. Uh So I did. I did my first couple of gigs with this one, and uh, yeah, man, good memories. Good memories. Oh man, so many memories. I've been going down a trip uh, on memory lane apparently this week because a couple of days ago I did uh, a video about the 40th anniversary of the first Iron Maiden album. Uh, you can watch it here, 
And now this, oh man, does it mean that I'm getting old? All nostalgic and stuff? Ah, I don't know, I guess I'm a nostalgic person. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, and you know, to be really honest, I'm really grateful uh, to my parents because they really didn't believe that I would uh, go through with playing guitar. Uh, but yet they, um, they agreed on buying me one. So thank you very much. Um, on the other hand, I guess that I've proved them wrong because I'm still doing it 30 years later. And I hope that I can do it for a long time. Uh, but yeah, for that to happen, we still need to get rid of this whole Corona thing because I'm in the middle of it. And you know, despite the fact that it's my birthday today, I, uh, I prefer doing this over uh, drinking beer by myself. That would be uh, quite boring. So I don't know what else I can tell you about this guitar. Well, I hope that you enjoyed watching this and uh, yeah, consider subscribing and uh, thumbs up and all that. So um, yeah, the sun is shining. I think I'm gonna have one beer now, even though it's all by myself. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have one birthday beer and I wanna wish you a very good day. See you later, take care and bye bye.